package as well. But I think the uh, problem is... Oh. Woo! Wait, okay. both right. I said okay, Trist, yes, you yeah. said Yone. We got both. <laughs> okay, so wanting to fight back. Again, Neela, obnoxious for so many reasons. But in this context, so obnoxious because of the additional XP she has given over to Hill. He's going to get the reset up. I wasn't sure how heavily G2 want to try and commit towards a Dragon Contest because he could kind of look at how much money cards he was sitting on. Finishes off the collector there. We'll spot a little bit late. They know Karzy isn't in the area. We're thinking about nowhere. It was just this incredibly slow play until it got to the mid game. And then they found those moments to uh, explode on the map. Photon is stepping up. He needs to make sure that he denies Broken Blade's potential alt out to safety. Can only get the full range if you do not hit a target. He's now going to try to get out. Wants to sack Q3 up Daglas. He's just going to go back here, but will get cut down. First blood for the side of Vitality and the latest first blood of LEC 2024. Yeah, very, very late, but nicely done by Vitality to get something back. Hilly now. We'll take a little bit of damage. Why in the area as well? How far do they want to go here? Oh, Hilly stronger at the 2v2, but with Yike on the way, there's the ulti as well. Mickey now looking to fall, but Yike's still standing. So much additional sustain. Now Karzy going to fire back with the Apotheosis Collector on the way, and Karzy, is he going to go for the Flash? Doesn't have the Ghost to follow up either. He's going to have to be okay with surviving that exchange. Very close to finding the kill on the Yike. It could have been a very different story if there wasn't that much heal and shield. Karzy, it is up and available. Might be the tool that they need to kick this fight off. Yike over the wall. Not going to be able to steal it now. Instantly backing off. Dagos throwing down the ultimate cast. Might just find himself in trouble. Photon continuing to step forward. That's going to be one kill. Seraphine all really not going to connect. Apostios is on two. The Sona and the Seraphine now set to fall. One kill coming out. Hansama will make it out of safety. Fate sealed. But it might just be the fate of G2 as Broken Blade barely manages to escape. Both support ultimates completely with from G2. Means that Vitality are able to chase them down. Now they get the dragon. They're going to get charged on mid as well. And what could have been a fight for G2 completely falls apart on them. Tricky, tricky exchange. A lot more power at this stage of the game in the hands of Vitality. Well, a lot more power when all the alts miss, of course. Caps, though, in the 1v1 should still be stronger at this point. It is an AP angle coming in here for VTO. The pushback is there. One more rocket. VTO now stepping in. Caps might die to minions. We're going to end up losing out in the tower with just the numbers advantage that Vitality will have on the spot lane. Caps rooted up. Yeah, covering. Just gonna threaten here as Hill's hanging out, looks to follow up. DTO there as well, there should just be two quick kills. Caps has no way out of this one, Yike needs to get the hell out. DTO gonna grab that one, Malignant's powered rocket, doing some work as another tower will fall. And please just look at the gold in the bottom lane. Both sides using double support. Any sort of picks, especially with Soul now in a minute and a half here for Vitality. Yeah, and look for the picks. Broken Blade used Q3, now they know that they have priority access. He can't even sack Q on the minions, he's gonna try to fade seal back. He can now snap back on the soul and bound to the clone, but he's just a dead man walking. Hillisang gonna pick up that one, and five more souls to poop. After the performance from Vitality yesterday, this a very is a long time. It's a similar story for Daglas. I don't think they can kill the front line. And now Vitality are descending. Package up and available for VTO. Eyes on G2. This might just be the final fight. Knockback already there. Pick to get things kicked off. G2 now running. Four members still up and available. Package going in. Hansaba getting torn down to the backside. Charm up onto VTO, but they don't have the damage to finish him off. The Corky finally going to fall down. Broken Blade off to the side, buying a bit more space for the rest of the team. Will get dropped. At the end of the day, two for one exchange in favor of Vitality. And that's so. They just get to wander on back. G2 gonna try and answer by pushing in mid and seeing if they can get some sort of control, maybe over the far near, or even just putting threat onto the tier two, but Hilly spotting them out as they move in. Oh, that damage. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Senna. With real gold income, welcome to season 14. She hits very hard. Caps is gonna walk up, but they immediately the team is going to respond. Karzy with the Jubilant Veil. Now they got Ocean Soul, and they can turn this one right back, but it is Caps and his best friends. Caps his angels, trying to keep him alive. Can they do it? He dashes out to safety. The answer is no. Vitality cleaning house. And remember, they're so far ahead, but they've built this lead. Clean fights, clean decisions across the board. DJ Sona playing one last sad tune before she goes to the graveyard. I don't think there'll be an encore for this one. Vitality. Already moving over towards the Baron. They want to just completely take everything on the map. And with Ocean Soul in the pocket as well, suddenly the extra healing and shielding that G2 are getting from this double support isn't going to matter. Damn! Look at that. Oof. Damage. Santa. Santa Corky, baby. Look at that poke. Vitality. They came prepared for this matchup. They have cooked a beautiful composition. They have absolutely won this episode of Chopped. And I don't think G2 have anything 
what they can do to stop this. Again, 50 minute game. I think Vitality certainly having a superior read and superior execution of these double support item compositions, but have played much better in the game as well. Dagos now looks for the setup. Dagos really commit for this one. VTO ready to go and Karzy there as well. Ultimate available for Karzy. Big Apotheosis can take out the double support duo on the back side of the fight and make sure that no one else can get in. VTO could be in trouble. They will be able to burn down the Corky before the fight even starts. Maybe they can turn this back now. So far, the one for one exchange. Support for mid laner. Surely this favors G2, but Caps is already so low. He's just trying to get the recall off. Broken Blade cutting the way. I don't think Vitality are ready for it. No TP from Caps into the mid lane to make sure they can keep the wave up as everyone on Vitality is just seeking Broken Blade. So they spent so long chasing this kill. There's this fight to ensure they get a kill, but they might lose mid lane terror off the back of this. Right. Yeah, there it goes. Q3 is trying to make it out of safety. Soul and Bounty's going to have to pull back here in a second, but he has a ton of lifesteal, buying a lot more time than initially expected. Again, another Q3 coming through onto Daglas. Photon will finally finish the kill. But G2 biding their time. He's got Daglas alongside him as well. Yeah, he's going to try to steal. 50-50, Yike gets rooted up, can he get into the pit? Going now, and can he take it away? But no, they managed to get it, this should just be it. Vitality finding the kill on the enemy jungler. G2 now need to run. Getting cut down here, Caps trying to run for the hills. Mickey speeding him up, zooming out to safety, but the rocket poke now coming in, Malignant's lowering that MR. Photon on the chase with the ghost. Leaping forward, Q3 not quite gonna connect. Ulti now going in from Hansama just to disengage, BB, just to hold on to hope, but it's Daglas from the side. BB, can he turn it back? BB trying to fire, does as much damage as he can. But VTO still standing. Hillisang on a rampage, sniped with the ultimate and Vitality. The minion wave on the bottom side should spell the end for G2. And what a performance from Vitality. They first locked the Senna, it looks absolutely fantastic in Hilly's eyes. And then this game as well, great performance on taking it slow, not giving an inch over to G2, and now the terrors are falling, and G2 are going with them. There is not enough room left on the map for G2 to play their composition optimally. Neela gonna move in, one man apotheosis, all that you need. Dragon coming down from the sky, bringing fiery retribution for Vitality there. G2 herded back into their fountain, the last place that they're safe. They might not even be safe there. Look at that set of range, baby Hilly! Having a hell of a time. Vitality moving up to three and three. That is an incredibly impressive performance from Vitality. I'm putting G2 to four and two, which means that it's BDS that is sitting at the top of the table right now. Very much looking like we did at the start of last year as well. <laughs> I had, but incredible for all we We're getting roasted in the threads for it. No. We should have brought back BDS tier, but it's not <laughs> BDS's day. It's Vitality's day. Fantastic game.